my talk by asking all of you a question. And the question is that how many of you genuinely are concerned about the pollution in the city? Please raise your hands. My second question is that how many of you really are concerned about the fact that a lot of people are under the poverty line in India? The rest of you are not concerned. How I want to start my talk is by saying that if I keep on answering, asking you these questions for the rest of the evening, you will keep on raising hands because you will all agree with me on certain shared concerns, certain problems, possibly some solutions. And if I repeat this social experiment, city after city, country after country, I will get a similar response. So what, keeps, what puts me to wonder is that if we all, you and me, are in consensus about the things that are wrong, our problems, then why is it that we continue to live in problems that we all agree should not exist? Then why is it that our prime minister has to come out and say, keep your public spaces clean? And why is it that there are so many people who go to sleep every night without a meal? I think uh, from my personal experience, from my humble personal experience, I think that um, whenever we see a situation which does not impact us directly, our general attitude towards is this. Someone should do something about this. It was not that I, uh, I mean, I'm inventing this or this thing. This is just a attitude problem that I also had about a couple of years back. And something changed, which was a evening conversation with a gentleman who had visited Jaisalmer to my hotel. I was standing in the courtyard. I asked him that, sir, how has it been your stay here? And he went straight faced, he said, I'm never going to visit Jaisalmer again. And your city sucks. Now, I was partially embarrassed because you know it's, it's, it's not a nice feeling when someone comes and ridicules your city or your country. But also I was partially concerned because if people wrote Jaisalmer off, there would be no business to my hotel. And I realized that we are all part of a connected ecosystem and suddenly, Someone should do something about this became, for me, I should do whatever I can to take care of this. And this is what we did. was a little thing as soon as I changed my attitude towards the problem and I said I should do whatever I can about this and since then I have uh, done multiple projects to do with women empowerment to do with the drainage problem at the fort uh, the conditions of uh, various stone artisans so I, I uh, encourage them to collaborate with international designers uh, we have done a fantastic music album which is going to be out very soon with the local singers. We did stuff with the hospital. 
We did stuff with the Rajasthan police against the touts. We did stuff with the Rajasthan tourism for the desert festival. And my point in saying all of this was that with a very simple change in your mindset, everything suddenly becomes possible. Moving swiftly forwards, these were things about a community, about some people. What do you do when you face larger issues like pollution, like, like intolerance or water conservation? I would like to inform you that it still holds true. And this is a project that I'm currently working on. By 2013, we made a lake. And since then, the lake collects over 300 million liters of water, rainwater. It has become home to new flora and fauna which never came before. It has recharged old abandoned wells which has revived farming in the region. This land, ladies and gentlemen, had less than one tree per acre. In 2016, we decided to grow a forest. I'm happy to inform you that we have pl already planted over 65,000 trees and we intend to plant 3 million. Just one small step can change many things. And this is an example. These are all Google images. You can see it for yourself. So those were two, from 2013 to 2015. So here is how I would like to say. That I did this not because I want to win some uh, prize or this thing. I have a one-year-old daughter and I do not want her to be growing up in an environment where she smokes, uh, she, she inhales 40 cigarettes without smoking one. And, and the fact that I'm always worried about her health because the water around is contaminated. I want, to run, I want just like you, that she runs after butterflies and, and sees stars and climbs trees. And, and the fact that she's not logged in a stupid room with an air purifier with uh, <laughs> twiddling on her iPad. I do not want that. And that was, for me, reason enough to embark on something like that. And this is exactly the point I want to make tonight with my talk, which is that change that we want, all of us want, is never going to happen if we keep thinking about it. And the fact that we, we imagine that someone else is going to bring it, it will not happen. Change will happen when you and I work towards and make it happen. It is just like eating food when you are hungry, somebody else eating food does not help you. When you're doing this, you'll also find a lot of cynical people, the cynical side of your head and the people around you. And they will say, Ki, neta banna hai kya isko? Ya phir they will say that, akele ke karne se kya hoga? Ya something. You know, you can just put all those people to shut because if you listen to them, you'll never be able to do anything at all. I would like to conclude by saying, that the next time you can take a metro, take a metro. You can pull a car, pull a car. You can teach your house helps daughter for an examination, do that. You want uh, uh, to take a bucket bath, do that. If you want to sort out garbage in three bins, do that. What I want to say is that it does not matter really the impact that you create with your actions. What matters is that what, whatever you have, you have given it at your 100% to create that impact. That is what matters. Because when you do something, I do something, he does something, all of this combines to make a big difference. And that, ladies and gentlemen, in my humble opinion, is an idea worth sharing. Thank you.